What's up YouTube, it's Bus Saiyan here, coming at you with another unboxing video and from my stance, you should already know by now, what I'm bringing to you today. <laughs> this has arrived, this little baby, and of course, you've clicked on this video because you know what this is. Indeed, these are the expansions for the Nemesis board game, ladies and gentlemen, and I am bringing you the unboxing of it right here on this channel. And so without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Guys, these are my trusty scissors. We will be using these bad boys to crack open this bad boy. Boom. So, this has been in the making for a long time we have been waiting for it for a very long time here in the UK but now we finally got it and we shall see the content now I have gotten full in on the whole thing um, probably mentioned this in the previous video as well basically um, uh, obviously the base game as you guys saw um, also painted figurines, which you guys saw, but uh, just to give you a, a quick recap, you get the painted soldiers as well. So I'm basically expecting everything, um, terrain expansion, medic, um, all the carnomorphs, all the uh, void seers, everything everything now I don't know uh, whether everything will be here uh, it should also be sun dropped for the aliens so last time obviously the um, the painted miniatures they've arrived a little bit later Awaken Realm sent it out a few months after I got the core box which is just up there by the way uh, just right here uh, so I don't know if uh, this will have everything it might not uh, but we shall find that out in a few seconds. God, I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so, first of all... Move this down a little bit. Okay. So this is what is under here. Yes, baby. Okay. Right, so we have the terrain expansion right at the top. There you go. Then we have the Cornomores expansion right there. Next layer below, we have the Aftermath and Void Seers stretch goal box. Oh, <laughs> piling it up. And then, right at the bottom, we have some extra cards. We have Untold Stories number two. And we have the art book as well. And I believe that is it. That is the empty box. Really, really, really well packaged, by the way. Well done, guys. Really well packaged. I like it. Okay, so just really quickly getting rid of these. Yep. So I can sit down. <laughs> da -da -da -da. guys I am so happy this is here I am absolutely psyched god this artwork Jesus Christ check this out that is some hardcore void seating okay well I'm not going to spoil the art book for people who've ordered it I think it's definitely a 
special little thing. It's got brilliant, brilliant, brilliant artwork in it. Really, really nice. Yep, that's amazing. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna show these guys because I don't wanna spoil it for you. Um, if there are some requests, I can do a separate video where I go through it, but you need to let me know down in the comments. So I'm gonna put that to the side. And actually, in fact, I'm going to do the same for Untold Stories number two. Two reasons. Uh, me and my buddy, we really want to start the first Untold Stories, but we still haven't. We just we're just constantly sitting down, just just getting the plan. Um, but again, I don't want to spoil it because obviously uh, some of you might have gone all the way through uh, Untold Stories number one. Some of you may have not. So. I'm just gonna leave it there. It looks beautiful, very nice. Let us move to, let's start with the stretch goal box and then we're gonna go into the expansions actually. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay. So, by the way, this is not going to be a short video. This will be a long video as you have guessed. Uh, if you've seen the first unboxing, that was a pretty long one as well, so. It is what it is. It's a lot of content, uh, and there is a lot of excitement, and um, yeah, really cool, really, really, really cool. All right, I have no idea what the M means, by the way. You guys can let me know because I don't have a clue. One thing I would say is that certainly the uh, stretch goal box is about half the size of the core set. The core uh, core game. Um, that's probably because obviously there were different levels of uh, um, contributions to uh, to the game, and so obviously to make it easier for them, they just put everything in separate boxes. But actually, if you put the uh, the terrain expansion on top and the Carnivores expansion, you got the same size basically as to what the core box is like, so there you go. It's definitely, definitely a lot of boxes for sure. Okay, right, so opening the stretch goal box, Aftermath and Void Seeders. There you go. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So first of all, what we got here, we have uh, expansion manual. Um, obviously, all the stuff you need to know about playing with the expansions, the extra components, research mission mode, all that good stuff is in here. There you go. Okay. Then we have game manual for Void Seeders right there. There you go. This one basically explains the Voice Eater features. So, what the cards do, what's the setup, what are the rules for Void Seeders, all of that is in here with some absolutely amazing artwork as you would have expected it. So, that is it, Void Seeders. Now we have the medic character there on the top. So there you go. We got the medic expansion as well. Uh, looks a bit odd with the printing. Never mind. Not a problem. So all these things will obviously be popped out. Will be used as character boards. I almost didn't go in on the medic at first, but then I thought, well, you know, if I want to have the full experience and obviously I want to get as much replayability out of this game as I can, then um, it's definitely worthwhile going for uh, every character that I can get my hands on. And actually the medic, as I've seen, it has some really sick features, so... Medic having sick features. Then we have this... Uh, Reprint. Uh, I do believe that we will have one board where we're missing six tokens from the middle. These are there to replace them, obviously. These are, what, three turret tokens and three... some weird-looking tokens. I am not 100% happy about how these were printed. 
uh, just purely because it, to me it looks like there's a lot of obviously space there that is wasted that didn't get inside the token but then again you have the three right in the middle so um, I suppose this is how it was meant to look like if you would want the whole feature to be part of it then the three would have had to come a little bit more to the side and probably down as well move the whole thing to the middle so I think it is supposed to look like this it just looks a little bit odd but then if I flip it around and you look at the question marks uh, yeah they're probably slightly to the side as well so uh, I don't know I mean it's not the end of the world don't get me wrong uh, yeah, it actually says at the bottom, corrected layer uh, and turret expansion tokens, replacement for six missing tokens from NEMA FM003 punch board. So there you go, that's the replacement for it. Anyway, let's move on. I mean, this isn't the end of the world, it's all right. Now, we got a couple of um, punch out stuff. Suppose I'm going to move it here. So we got the um, Android and the CEO with some uh, num new number two rooms. So we got alarm room, turret room, server room, there at the bottom. Uh, the alarm room comes with a computer, uh, make noise. Uh, it makes noise, obviously. <laughs> I suppose when you put the alarm on, that was, that probably like starts to make some sirens go off and whatnot. And probably maybe one of the aliens is particularly more uh, distracted if you put the alarm on, but it, again, looking at this board, it's just, it's not, not quite positioned right, if you know what I mean. Um, plus, it's a bloody shame when I pop these out, I'm going to be missing the top head of the Android, and I'm going to be missing the, the top of the uh, uh, the actual Android, sorry, and the, uh, the robot there. And even the rooms are slightly, just ever so slightly, you can see there on the side, when you pop them out, you will be missing a little bit. But um, when I look at the back, at the back there you are bang on on the middle. So uh, clearly one side got printed properly, and then the other side may have been slightly to the side. But uh, I mean, I don't know. It's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, it's it's okay. They will be popped out, and we will play with them. Okay, now we got the bounty hunter and the psychologist here. Uh, we got some turrets here, as you can see from the back. Uh, another number two room, and loads of uh, tokens, which I suppose come into play uh, during the game. <laughs> uh, Psychologist looks really hot, by the way. <laughs> um, there you go, there's a Psychologist bounty hunter at the bottom. Uh, if I would have to hazard a guess, I would say the bounty hunter probably replaces the captain. But that might be wrong. No, actually, no, no, no. Looking at the color, the bounty hunter replaces the scout because it's purple. Yeah, the android replaces the pilot. Seal replaces the captain. Psychologist replaces the uh, the scientist. And then there you go. The convicts already fallen. The convicts already escaping, ladies and gents. The the convicts. The convicts gone. The convict we haven't. I mean, he looks pretty much like Hannibal Lecter. If you have a close look at that, come on. He definitely looks like Hannibal Lecter. Sweet though. Uh, replaces the. Uh, well, that's. I mean, that's a, that's a weird one because it is. Uh, technically, this isn't red. Technically, that's orange. So if I look at this, to me, this would replace the mechanic. And uh, the mechanic, I believe, is replaced by the oh, the medic that just also decided to fall out. Or maybe not. Maybe this is like a pinkish color, actually. Actually, the medic might be a, a standalone thing. But then... So okay, so nobody can replace the mechanic maybe? I don't know. I'm honestly I'm just shooting into the air here. I don't know who replaces whom, but I do know that you can't have two of the same color. So you can't have the pilot and the android. You can't have the convict and the soldier. I believe the convict does replace the soldier. 
in this game. Um, loads more warning tokens. They are double-sided. Don't be confused by it. They are supposed to be like this as far as I understand. And we have a blank token there. And we do have some uh, effect tokens down there as well. There is obviously one specific for each character. This clearly comes into the picture if you get affected by, I believe, the Void Seeders are the ones that use like telepathic waves to basically screw you up. And this is the Void Seeder board. Looks very familiar to the um, original board that we get for the intruders. Uh, character Insanity level, Intruder Carcass, Intruder Egg. So you, uh, then you got Nest in the Egg there, as you can see, and they luck, thank God, they use the same uh, symbols for Queen, uh, Breeder, Adult, Creeper. I don't know if we have uh, uh, any more, but it looks really sweet. I mean, come on, the artwork is, this is, this is all Call of Cthulhu type of look as well, like, you know, it's just... They definitely have gone for that Call of Cthulhu style with the Void Seeders, which I, I really like. I think that's really cool. Okay, so this one is an interesting one because I was wondering what the hell this is. And I still don't know. But it must be a type of gameplay because this is a board. Uh, and you have five turns before you go to hyperspace. So the only thing I can imagine is this may be um, either a uh, second layer of the ship, uh, a second level inside the ship, or maybe this is like a shuttle type of thing, uh, because we have three number two rooms, and we have one sort of, uh, uh, I suppose, command center, control room, maybe, whatever you want to call this area. So I'm really looking forward to try this one out. Uh, I have been quite intrigued. I, uh, to be honest, I've forgotten what, what this was supposed to be. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Definitely looking forward to try this out. And then, we got two boxes of silica gel and we're done. That's it. That's it. There's nothing else in the box. I'm only joking. Okay. So, here we have... The layer. Right, so first of all, we have. Uh, okay, so everything. All my intruders are lovely, lovely, lovely looking. And they have all been. Oh, that is. Bloody hell, that's sexy. Jesus, that is. Oh my god, I am, guys. I found a dog. I found a dog. I found a dog. A dog has been found. No, honestly, I can't. I can't pull it out. Come on, doggy. There is a dog. Right under this big ass void seeder, there is the doggy. That's the companion of the bounty hunter. And I'm cutting my face off, but it doesn't matter because we want to get that dog out, and we cannot. Ah, oh, God. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there for now. Let's have a quick look at this. So it's all sun dropped. As you can see, I I wanted them sun dropped. I have the whole thing sun dropped, so all the expansions, the core box, everything. And then looking at this, I am probably going to get these guys painted at some point as well because I have gone in for a full painted pledge. And uh, we have the five characters that comes with the box, as you can see there. Plus we have one with the purple ring, which is the medic. And again, it doesn't want to come out, so... And that's it, there's nothing else in the box. Just making sure. Um, oh god, they, they have really put these guys in. I can't bloody take them out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get any anything, anything. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay, the turrets, yeah. Turrets are below some of the Void Seeders as well. It's going to be an absolute joke to have these packed out, but... They look really nice. Oh, they look really, really nice. 
They look super nice. One thing that I like about these is that they're not as big as the um, the intruders. Uh, so if you compare them, they are just uh, slightly larger than the crew members. And um, I mean, this would be how I would imagine to compare a human to an alien. Whereas with the intruders, they are like twice the size of you know your uh, your uh, crew members but if you compare it to the queen then <laughs> definitely a massive difference i love how the queen doesn't have a base it's just got you know four legs and tentacles everywhere and just looks like an absolute nightmare which is what it's what she's supposed to look like but no the sun drops really nice it's like slightly purplish and uh, there's one of the big dudes. It's got these scythes uh, at the back of its arms, which looks just absolutely wicked. And all these tentacles, they all look like um, uh, basically like octopus um, tentacles. And they look really, really, really cool. Really cool, for sure. Yeah. It's just nice to have, you know, a different toy to play with. Now you got so many enemies that, uh, like, you know, you can replace and just makes the game, like, super, super replayable. As a turret. Turrets look sweet, too. I'm really intrigued by the idea that these are a thing and how they're going to work in the game. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, these these look really, really nicely sculpted. I would say that for sure they've taken a step up from the uh, quality of the, um, the miniatures from the core set moving on here. Uh, and, it, you know, it's it's definitely paid off by the looks of things because these guys, they look, they look pretty amazing. And the only thing I'm noticing is that some of these guys are slightly tilted to the side. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me put these two here, just as a comparison. And I had the exact same issue with my scout. Uh, you're not really going to see it, but this guy here, this one here, is slightly tilted to, to the left compared to the other guy. And, uh, I mean, I won't be able to, like, bend him back because he's, re like, you can see the glue marks um, uh, between the figurine and the base. It's probably not really going to show through, but you can definitely, definitely see the glue there. there. You can see it just about there that there's, there's a lot of glue that they've used to get, no, it's, it's, it's rigid. So this guy is going to be, oh, <laughs> I'm on the side. I had a few pints. Um, okay, we got an egg. This egg looks... Yeah. This egg looks scary. This egg looks really, really scary. It, it looks like there's something just about to pop out of it. Like it's got that tiny opening at the top. This is scary shit. But it looks cool. So uh, there's another egg here. Which again, I can't... I don't know how they put these things in. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to take it out. I honestly don't know how I'm going to take these out. Let's have a look at the CEO. <laughs> looks really good. Looks really, really good. <laughs> I'm loving this. That's really cool. Really, um, you know, they, they have had some really good ideas with the... Uh, the uh, the second wave characters as to what what to put in there, and uh, God, honestly, like I didn't think it was gonna be this hard to take these out. Oh, the space cat came out. Look at this little cutie. Oh, isn't she adorable? <laughs> the space cat. Oh dear. This is cute. This space cat is really, really, really cute. 
Look at the little munchkin. Oh, adorable. Right, guys, honestly, I don't want to break my models, so we went through most of them. I know I haven't shown you all of them. Uh, we got the Android here. Okay, let's go through what I can get out. This, this is the Android. Okay. Looks really slick. She... This isn't the Android, is she? This is probably the... No, 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 this is the Android, this is the Android, and this is the uh, Psychiatrist. Okay, there you go, this is the Psychiatrist. Alright, in the meantime, my laptop had different plans. So we're at 26 minutes. Um, cards, which I'm not going to open. I don't want to spoil the game for you guys. There's a little bit more room. There are uh, the cards for your um, medic. Uh, medic character card and we have a whole bunch of other cards obviously this is um, I don't I don't know what a lucrative offer is but it sounds good to me I'm happy to take it these are the special items for the medic one of them is a needle gun uh, so we got this whole deck of lucrative offers which is obviously not just that but other things as well intruder bag development right there for you uh, yeah that's pretty cool actually having something like that because Ah, let's not get into that. Uh, action cards for all the different guys, and um, this one has the this one has the mechanic on it. So I don't know what this is, but definitely I can tell you that these are some event cards there. Generator overheat. So not only do you get some extra dudes, you also get extra events. You obviously get the action cards to go with them. And you get some other stuff as well, which I'm looking forward to see what that is. Uh, and we have an hourglass. An uh, hourglass? I don't know. Sand clock, whatever you call this. I am pretty sure this is really going to ramp up the game because uh, when you're under pressure, when you're under time pressure and you have to quickly make decisions as to what you're going to do, that tends to beef up the... Uh, the the game level and how you do things and how you screw up most likely okay so duh, 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 let's try and figure out where this came out from probably not from there maybe yes maybe no oh dear 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 oh man I suppose what we should do is spend less time trying to put these things back and spend more time getting to our next box. Okay, let me just... Uh... Wow, this, I mean, this, is... <laughs> this is brilliant. I love it though. Okay, let's close this. And uh, let's have a look at the terrain expansion. Little kitty stays there on the side. Okay, so the terrain expansion. I'm gonna try and speed this up a little bit, guys. Sorry about that, but probably spending a lot of time being excited than you know going through things. Okay, so terrain expansion. Da da da. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Okay, so this is this is it. Because, obviously, the turrets are inside that box. Here we get doors. And immediately that one has a blast damage on it. That's... I, I love that. Very nice, like, sturdy stuff as well. Here is an escape pod, and that looks pretty cool too. 
and it's locked you know it's locked because there's a lock on it and when it opens well you will figure out where it takes one or two people these all take two huh <laughs> well some of these are supposed to take only one so how will I know I suppose I probably have to read the rules or just uh, still use the original ones under these because yeah I mean these are solid plastic though yeah for sure um, yeah I'm, I am a little bit confused I'm not gonna lie I'm sure some of you will know and leave me a comment below as to how am I supposed to figure out whether one of them takes one or some of them takes two but I suppose they were designed to be um, you know multi-use and let's just go with that and then if we remove this layer which has our doors and of course the escape pods which I'm just really quickly going to put back here then we have we have we have we have more toys we have more toys because we have these okay so we got a dead crew member another dead crew member another dead crew member another dead crew member and another dead crew member besides dead crew members we also have this stuff which honestly again I can't remember what it really is I'm gonna fish one out even if I can break it I didn't break it okay I have absolutely no idea what this is but it looks absolutely scary it triggers a whole lot of phobia in a lot of people I believe with those gaping holes on them it kind of looks like a hive like I don't know it's like an egg or a hive type of thing I don't know not that I haven't done my research but I just don't remember every single component that comes in this one but I think it's really cool that I mean come on you even got the skull on it that is pretty sweet uh, that's the captain uh, pilot uh, no idea who's who this guy is by the way um, God, this is hard. This is a soldier. I can tell you that this is a soldier. Look, look, his little helmet's um, his little helmet's cracked, and his head's hanging out there on the side as well. So that's that's sad. He's dead. Oh well. Okay. Let's um. Hmm. Interesting. So, I mean, it's probably supposed to be like that. But I just kind of feel like as I'm touching the base of this, whatever, I'm, I'm losing a bit of pain. But I'm probably not. I'm just thinking that I am. Um, there's nothing left on my fingers. So it's probably, I mean, these things I would assume were spray painted. And so they may have just... Uh, Ido made it to look a little bit more together with the when, with the board when you're playing with these, or maybe that's the, those were the points where they were held or something. I don't know. Uh, but in reality, it doesn't really matter. They look really cool, and I am happy with these. Okay, so that is for now the terrain expansion. And we have the Carnomorph expansion left to open. And obviously this will have the Carnomorphs in it. Okay. So we've had the Void Seeders um, 
sun dropped and these guys should be sun dropped as well so realistically the only thing i'm still waiting for are the uh the painted miniatures that should make their way at some point but it makes sense that they are sending it separately because um there's way too much stuff to go into these boxes anyway and so uh, they get a little bit of time we can play with the game and then eventually we'll get the painted figures so this is the uh corner morphs game manual it is different in size as you've already noticed than the other ones which uh I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of wish they would have made all the rules this size, by the way, because that big booklet is, is a bit of a pain to work with. Uh, but this is actually the size. I, I would have much preferred this size. Um, but hey, it is what it is. Let's not, let's not get caught up on small details. Okay, so we got the Carnivores board here. And we got uh, warning tokens there on the side corpses. And they use the same corpses as for the uh, the base set. And I don't really understand that because you already have a lot of these. And it's not like they look any different. So it's just like another few more for your, uh, for your box. And then if you turn it around, we have for some reason, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight red colored. And then we got two blue colored, and and that is a uh, that will be used for the uh, breeders, which is um, I don't know. I mean that's that's a little bit weird. I, again, I'm gonna have to read the rules, but uh, it just seems a bit weird. I, that's all I'm saying. All right, so oh, these look wonderful. These these look like. Um, uh, Warhammer, Sigmar, Chaos, followers. I mean, oh Jesus Christ! Oh, dude, these guys look absolutely terrifying. Okay, so real quick, we got uh, a couple of little cards here. Carnomorph adaptations. Oh, so instead of weaknesses. Instead of weaknesses, these guys actually get stronger. What a good idea. And then we have Carnomorph Attacks, uh, Bag Development. And that's it for this one. But obviously the most important bit here are the miniatures again. Pretty hard to get. Fucking hell. Oh my god. This is absolutely the stuff of nightmares. I mean, <laughs> they, uh, I'm speechless how good they look. They le really, 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 really look good. And they are, uh, they're all like this flashy, dark red. I don't know how much that comes through the video. But they just look grotesque, they look disgusting, they look absolutely amazing. Okay, let's have a look at some of the smaller ones here. So these are the guys that will convert you to a half sofa, half human, I suppose. Really long legs, really disgusting looking things, uh, but absolutely epic. Absolutely epic. Okay, uh, what else is here? Okay, we got these uh, bigger guys. These kind of remind me of if you've guy if you guys have seen the uh, um, the last Riddick movie, titled Riddick. Uh, those monsters that are in the mud and they just have their tails cropping out from the water, and then they have all this big body that pulls you under the water and kills you and they will poison you with this so these are uh yeah definitely also a very scary looking and then we got a whole bunch of a whole bunch of these guys uh, again i can't get out the box i mean that there is one thing where it's well packed but how the hell am i going to 
be storing these guys in here? I have no idea because I can't barely take them out. But oh, fuck. This guy. I mean, I, you don't, I don't even know where he starts and where he finishes. Just, uh, just look at that. Just uh, absolutely gross, but amazing. There's like, uh, there's like a tail, there's like a type of third arm kind of thing that grows out from its stomach. I mean, it is just absolutely vile looking, but it's also amazing. So their feet looks like hands. One of their one of its hand looks like a hand and it's got this whatever out of its stomach. And then it's got this sight thing for another arm and it's just absolutely disgusting looking but amazing. And then we got So these are the same. And we have another one here. And we got this big dude which also looks extremely extremely scary they they uh, I mean wow they have done an amazing job with these honestly they look absolutely scary like, I mean, this dude has only one arm, but I think with that one arm, it is more than capable of absolutely annihilating you with a, uh, with one, <laughs> with one attack. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, they really nailed it. They really, really nailed it. It is extremely gross but also amazing I, I, I honestly I don't know what to say I'm just absolutely taken back by these how good the this red sun drop is on these carnivores and they make them look like the, the worst nightmare you can you can possibly think of so god yeah I mean there will be there will be a lot of dead crew members in the future because now that this is here I'm gonna be going and playing uh, carrying on playing a lot of Nemesis uh, these expansions I think it was a great idea and I think it, they were definitely worth the money I'm super happy that I went for uh, two wave shipping not a single one that I had the chance to play Nemesis for the past I don't know, 10 months, 8 months, I um, can't remember exactly, it was, uh, what was it, May, March, April when they arrived, somewhere around that time, uh, but we've gotten a lot of mileage out of, of that game already, and now, with these expansions, we're just going to take it to the next level. So I'm really looking forward to see the uh, painted crew members as well. And of course, I will bring those to you guys as soon as I receive them. It's probably going to be a little while. But I really hope you enjoyed this one, guys. I certainly have. I am super tired. <laughs> super tired, but also very excited to try these out. But until next time, guys, Bussy and signing out. Peace.